Senator Gravel, at a forum earlier this year, I want to get this right, you said it doesn't matter whether you are elected president or not, so then why are you here tonight? Shouldn't debates be for candidates who are in the race to win the race? Ryan, you're right, I made that statement, but that's before I had a chance to stand with them a couple, three times. It's like going into the Senate. You know, the first time you get there, you're all excited, my God, how did I ever get here? Then about six months later, you say, how the hell did the rest of them get here? <laughs> Yeah. And, and I got to tell you, after standing up with them, some of these people frighten me. They frighten me. When, when you have mainline candidates that turn around and say that there's nothing off the table with respect to Iran, that's code for using nukes, nuclear devices. I got to tell you, I'm president of the United States. There will be no preemptive wars with nuclear devices. To my mind, it's immoral, and it's been immoral for the last 50 years as part of American foreign policy. Let's use a little moderator discretion here. Senator Gravel, that's a weighty charge. Who on this stage exactly tonight uh, 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 worries you uh, so much? Well, I would say the top-tier ones. The top-tier ones. They I'm... made statements. Oh, Joe, I'll include you, too. You have a certain arrogance. You want to... You wanna tell the Iraqis how to run their country. I got to tell you, we should just play get out. Just play get out. It's their country. They're asking us to leave, and we insist on staying there. And why not get out? What harm is it going to do? Oh, the, you hear the statement, well, my God, the soldiers will have died in vain. The entire deaths of Vietnam died in vain. And they're dying in vain right this very second. And you know what's worse than a soldier dying in vain? is more soldiers dying in vain. That's what's worse. Senator Gravel, thank you. Senator Clinton.